Hey there, welcome to the 50 second easy JavaScript tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. Let's work with the date object in JavaScript. Just like the number, string, and array objects, the date object has many useful methods that you can use. This is just a small list of all the methods that is available to JavaScript, uh, to the date object. You can find more uh, on, the, on the W3Schools link provided here. Uh, there are many other uh, methods that you can use. You can click on them, get examples, see exactly how they work. I'm going to show you just a few examples because the data object is so easy that once you figure out how some of them work, you'll know how all of them work. So let's create a date. So we'll do var d and then we'll do new date. So what this is doing is it's creating a new date object, uh, capital D in date, and it's assigning it to d. So it'll have my uh, my date, month, year, everything. So let's log into the console and see what that looks like. Open my console. There we go. So it's Wednesday, June 14th at 10.09 p.m. Um, that's the time of this recording. Let's use some of the methods that we see on the right-hand side here. And let's do like d.getDate. Uh, open and close parentheses and sit as a method. Uh, so what this should return is just the 14 because it returns 1 through 31. This is one indexed. There you go, 14. If we do the same thing here and actually try to get the day uh, instead of the date, whoops, uh, it'll return from 0 through 6. So in, since it's a Wednesday, it should return a 3 because Wednesday is the fourth day of the week starting because the weeks in uh, week start on Sunday. Uh, so the 3 is the fourth index of an array. So we'll do run. There you go. It returns a 3. And finally, let's get the month. So we'll do get month. Get rid of this. Run. And the month is 5. It's June. It's the 6th. But again, returns the month 0 through 11. It's 0 indexed. Uh, the only thing that's 1 indexed is the date. That's pretty straightforward, right? So let's say you want to uh, get today's date in your script and you want to format it nicely. So let's just do a little bit of formatting. We'll do console log equals to a d dot get uh, month. Concatenate a space. We'll do uh, d dot get date. Concatenate uh, space. Put a comma in there. Uh, you'll see what it looks like. And concatenate uh, d dot get full year. Get rid of this. If I run it, I'm missing something. Um, I'm missing the concatenation here. Forgot to add the plus. Clear that. Run. There we go. So it does 5, 14, 2017. But you really want to show that it's, it's June 14, 2017, right? Uh, because here, uh, when you get the date object, it actually says June. Uh, but when you're actually trying to get the, uh, the month, the get month, it only returns a 0 through 11. It does not return... A string it returns an integer integer so what you can do is you can actually uh, use a little bit of trick uh, use a trick and do something like this so I have it already copied and I'll copy and paste it and show you what, what exactly I'm doing so I declared a variable called month and inside the variable I have declared each of the 12 months as an index so since 5 uh, is what's returned when you're doing get month. So it'll do 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it'll return June. So what you'd want to do is put this whole thing uh, as if it was a uh, an index in the month array. So we'll do mun and just put square braces around this. Get rid of this, run it. There you go, now I get June 14, 2017. Uh, it's a little bit of, uh, it's a little trick that you can do in JavaScript. Other programming languages uh, may have a way to get the actual word, not just the, the index, uh, but this is, a, this is a cool trick that you can use. To further format this, we can actually add the time as well, uh, just to get uh, the hours, minutes, and seconds used up as well. Uh, I also misspelled month. It should be M-O-N-T-H, not M-O-N. Let me fix that. There you go, all better. Unexpected token, yep, because I'm still working on it. So we'll do um, get full year, concatenate a space. Uh, we'll do d dot get hour. Concatenate a colon because uh, we're displaying time now. We'll do d dot get minutes. Concatenate another colon. 
I'll do d dot get seconds. Get rid of this. I'll update and run. I'm missing a lots of typos today. Yep, since it went over to the new line, I didn't see that I need to actually concatenate here, add a plus here. So get rid of this, run it, uh, and there we go. So you get the time and the date. Uh, I'm going to wait about 30 more seconds. I'm going to let time pass, skip the video, and show you uh, a little quirky thing that happens here. So now we're entering uh, single digits, uh, seconds. So if I get rid of this, and if I press run now... So we get June 14, 2017, 22, 15, 4. It's only a single digit. Uh, normally things would have double digits uh, or more if you're going into the milliseconds. Uh, and, and this little quirky thing will happen um, everywhere, including the month, uh, uh, the hours, and the minutes. Uh, it looks really weird if it's in the minutes uh, as it does in the seconds. So come back in the next tutorial where I'll show you a very quick trick using the ternary operator, how you can actually format this to look uh, pretty, to look like you want it to look. It'll be really quick, really easy, and I think it'll be a great way to end uh, a full year of JavaScript tutorials. I do plan on making more, but come back for the, the, the 54th to 53rd JavaScript tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope uh, you have a, a solid understanding of how the date objects work and how the methods work. Be sure to visit the W3Schools link and understand how everything else works. So far I've only showed you how to use get month, get seconds. You can also use uh, set month, set minutes, set time, set date, uh, and set your own date. So you don't have to work with what's on your machine. So instead of me waiting for a uh, single digit seconds, I could have set it, but I didn't. Uh, it works the same way. So look through these. And if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Also be sure to visit easyprogramming.net. Take a look at the brand new easyprogramming.net website, uh, where you can also comment on the website. If you have any questions, if you find any bugs, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.